when I portray animals, I think it, it's, it's really interesting to, um, you know, to explore instincts. Animals still have, they still are, they hold on to that connectedness to the earth that, that tells them what to do. People are losing that connectedness. So that's what interests me most about animals, uh, besides just the, the beauty of them, colorful and all different shapes and sizes. And they're very honest, the way they, they live. They don't try to control every, everything. They don't try to uh, understand everything. They, they kind of just live. And there's something to that. We're kind of moving away from that. So I, I kind of like to explore that kind of element. I really love the physical, the anatomy, understanding how things, things work, and um, it's really exciting. Uh, all the, the differences, but the similarities, too, at the same time. So that, that's kind of what this piece is about. I'm at a point now where it's extremely, extremely rough. I, I am massing out the, the major shape it's going to take me a while to where I like it from every angle. And then I'm going to start thinking about anatomy more and form, the way the light hits it, really start organizing all that stuff. And then the last thing will be really modeling it. That's when I'm going to incorporate the spots. And then I'm going to have to make a mold and cast it. I'm not sure on the material yet. I'm exploring different ways of finishing and, and sculpting, uh, the way I'm going to do the form. So the kind of attitude and the, the form that I needed for the idea that I had. I think that's going to tell me ultimately what, what material needs to be. I'm taking on a lot of human emotion that can be used in this pose in a way. There's a real like juxtaposition to this pose that I like. The, the awkwardness of the legs, but the uh, grace of the upper body. So you have to see the animal and, and really see it move and, and, and it's natural. Natural habitat I prefer, but you know, I can't go to Africa right now. I wanted to go to the zoo and, um, and actually sculpt from looking at it. I'm just gonna do little studies, kind of like the maquettes back there, just like maybe like eight inches. My pose is meant to be something that isn't done. So it's more about understanding how the, the body works and getting that in my head and then tweaking it so I can exaggerate and you know it's my own imagination but I'm being true to the animal and then bring that back to the to the studio here and bring that you know to life it's really the best thing you can do especially an animal that's so awkward like like this